welcome 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 um back to queen silver real tarot glad to have you guys join me once again um here back here again with the general message for the collective please only take what resonates and leave what does not um again i must repeat if it doesn't apply um please let it fly okay um with that being said we're gonna jump right in um and get into the messages from spirit Again, I want to thank uh, all of my subscribers and all the beautiful comments that you leave me in the comment section. I do appreciate it. Um, to all of my um, newcomers, I appreciate you as well, okay? Sending out much love and gratitude to you all. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Sending out uh, love, light, healings, and blessings to you all, to your loved ones. Universal Divine Spirit. What messages do you have my, for my gods and goddesses, my beautiful collective today? Please and thank you. What do they need to be aware of? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What do my collective need to be aware of today? Divine Spirit, please and thank you. What's the message to your spirit, please and thank you. What other message to spirit, please and thank you. What are we focusing on here today? Hmm. Okay, I'll take these. First one out is compassion. Then we have the crown chakra here. We have passions here. And then we have choice here. <clears throat> the energy I'm, I'm getting here is... Um, one of um, acceptance, okay, about how things are. Um, divine Femme, Divine Masculine, as far as where you belong on this part of your journey here, okay. Um, and also, which direction you should go um, from here. Um, which road you should take along this journey is what I'm getting here, okay. I'm seeing a lot of growth here um, with this um, beautiful flower here um, and the choice that you're uh, going to make as far as your finances and your assets or your belongings, you know, take it how it resonates, okay? Um, the Spirit is reminding us that we have free will here, okay, to um, create our own realities, okay? Yeah, so whatever it is that you're wishing for, um, that you can bring that into fruition here is what I'm saying. In other words, the divine spirit is saying that you did you have free will that you have a choice. Okay, if you're passionate about something or passionate about wanting to have something, um, the right course to take is to to uh, follow your will. Follow your will is what I'm getting here. If you want something to change, or if you're needing the courage to change something. Okay, or the willpower to change something or to make a choice here and something here is that the the will is within you, okay? That you can make the difference, okay? I see seven seventeen here, okay, or seven 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 as well. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What else do we have here, Spirit? Yeah, um, with this card being kind of dark, you're not really sure which way you want to go. Um, with obtaining this um, this thing that you want here be it something that you want to own or concerning your finances, your assets or something that you treasure okay, wow because I see a lot of lights on these trees in the background just hanging from the trees there's a lot of lights so there may be um, a lot of things that you want to achieve here is what I'm getting here and um there's a choice to be made. You have to choose a direction. 
okay here you have to choose a direction but you you um spirit is saying you can move forward with it you know once you choose okay but um with the crown chakra here it's basically saying you know the um divine is reminding you that you know uh, how to go about achieving this whatever this is because you have free will okay wow hmm okay spirit we're gonna I'm being guided to get some some tarot out now okay what is this we have here spirit can you please clarify compassion why is compassion here divine sphere please and thank you why is compassion here for my collective can you please clarify why compassion is here it's something about accepting something here is what I'm getting being empathetic about something here caring gentle why is compassion here the last sphere please and thank you You're moving towards something. Yeah, we have the fool here. Yeah. There's some new beginnings, okay? Well, you're moving off some blind faith with this opportunity here. Why is Crown Chakra here? Spirit, please clarify. Thank you. There's something here you want to take a leap of faith, but there's a choice that has to be made, okay? Concerning your possessions here. What else is here, Spirit? Clarify, Crown Chakra, please. Thank you. For my gods and goddesses, my cosmic gods and goddesses. Please and thank you. We have the will of fortune. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the will of fortune in the reverse here. Okay. Before this new beginning can start, there's some some um, breaking of cycles that have to, have to take place, okay? Concerning your possessions, okay? Or your assets or your finances. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Please clarify what positions are here. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Maybe this is something you've been holding off on, uh, making this choice here. Um, with the Adam Wands being here in reverse, okay. Wow. And maybe you missed this opportunity before here of making something happen. Um, I'm going forward with something here is what I'm getting. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. You have to break the cycle, whatever this is. Okay. What is your spirit? Please and thank you. We have the three of cups. <clears throat> okay. The energy I'm getting here with the three of cups is, you know, um, this may involve um, friendships or some type of collaboration with somebody with this choice that you have to make here. Yeah, that involves your happiness here is what I'm getting here. Well... Hmm. This has something to do with the people that um that are most important to you is what I'm getting here. Okay. Could be your family, could be your friends. Why is choice here, Spirit, please and thank you. There's something you wanna you wanna start out. Something you wanna begin in the beginning with something. You you're breaking old old uh, cycles, old patterns, but somehow there's been a delay. And you've been able to celebrate something because you have to make a choice here. Okay, to move forward on something here is what I'm getting here. Thank you, Spirit. Why is choice here? Please clarify. Why choice is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. We have the Emperor here. Okay. Maybe because you want structure is what I'm getting here. We have death in the reverse here. We have the page of wands in the reverse here. 
And we have temperance here. Okay, the energy I get, I'm getting here is like, yeah, you're refusing to change something here. But there's a choice that has to be made in this situation here, okay? Well, you don't know exactly which way to go. Like I said, the choice has like like two different ways to go, okay? It's sort of like that, okay? Um, you've been procrastinating, okay? But you want to find some meaning um, here is what I'm getting here, okay? You want whatever this choice is to, to have some meaning, Um the bottom of the deck we have conflict so um, the energy i'm getting from that card is that you know like um you're in conflict with something like um you may be very territorial about your possessions here um and um wow you're in disagreement um is the reason why you haven't made the choice yet okay wow okay spirit <clears throat> we have intuition on the bottom of this deck, okay, we have intuition here, so spirit is saying definitely you have to use your intuition here, you have to trust um, your insight, <clears throat> be aware, <clears throat> excuse me, be aware of the choice, my throat chakra is messing up, be aware of the uh, choice that you're making, you, you, you have to trust in it, be aware of it, and you know, make sure you're be, being um, divinely guided with sh uh, chakra, uh, crown chakra being here, okay. So whatever this uh this choice is, we're manifesting, growing to whatever you expect it to be, something beautiful. Okay, something that you can cherish is what I'm getting here. But right now you're like in a gray area. You really don't know which way to go with this and you want to avoid conflict at all costs is what I'm getting here. Let's, um, and I'm going to go to the ancestors and see what the ancestors have to say <clears throat> what do you have for us ancestors please and thank you what do you have for my collective here ancestors please and thank you university of my ancestors what else do you have for us today please and thank you what do you have here for us Yeah, maybe something about expanding your prosperity here. <clears throat> With Jupiter being here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. We have Scorpio here. We have uh, Cancer, Pisces. What is your spirit? My ancestors. What is it that you want us to know? Please and thank you. There's some action, there's some energy that needs to be taken here with Mars being here. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, you're wanting, you're wanting to expand your prosperity. I'm thinking like maybe um, for generational wealth here is what I'm getting here. You're contemplating on making a choice here. What do we have here? We have the moon here, okay? The ancestors are saying, uh, take note of intuitive messages, okay? That's what the um, ancestors are saying, saying here. Thank you, Spirit. What else do the ancestors have to say? Please and thank you. Because you don't want any conflict, so maybe this is something to do with your family and that this is something that you're wanting to uh, make happen for your family or something. Here's what I'm getting here. Yeah, you want to make the right change um, with Pluto being here. Something that you want to change, but you want it to be right. You want it to be fair. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, I'll take those here. Thank you. We have a protection guardian here. Okay. It says drop your shields. Okay. Take note to your intuitive messages. Okay. <clears throat> this one says... um lady enjoy growth and reap your rewards okay wow and then we have the hunter here this is track down your fears and desires wow track down your fears and desires know what they are 
And then we have the elder here. It says move beyond ancestral patterns. Okay, so the energy I'm getting here is that this is something that you've been contemplating for a while. But like I said, you've been reluctant to, to um, make any direct moves on this, okay? Because you're wanting um, sheer evidence that this is going to definitely grow with the, the cosmic flower here. Definitely grow and reap some rewards. Um, and I'm also seeing like a family tree here, okay? And the ancestors are saying, uh, track down your fears and your desires. Like, basically, go for it, but go for it with boldness and without fear, okay? Without fear. And it says, move beyond ancestral patterns um, we have here, okay? I mean, days of the old, the, the, old, the old way of, of, of doing things, okay? Uh, every day is a new day, as we all know. But the ancestors can always teach us something here, okay? We have the high priestess here on the bottom of the deck. Uh, and it says, <clears throat> harness mystic power. So, reminding you that you have the power within to uh, manifest and create what it is your heart desires, okay? What this, what this is that you want to grow, okay? What you want to... Um, reap your rewards from okay things that that are possessive that are material in this material plane here okay that realm in here that we're in now um that i'm speaking of okay because this is material wealth that i'm seeing here on the board here okay that, that you're wanting to leave possibly for your family or something like that <clears throat> and we have the oracle here okay and um it says wait for important information okay so maybe that's why you haven't made a choice yet um the elders are saying the ancestors are saying maybe that's why you hadn't made a choice yet because you're pretty guarded about this decision you want to make but um yeah there's something you have to do first is you have to track down your fears and your desires so i'm gonna break that up for you track down your fears the first things first okay once you track down your fears track down your desires like be that hunter to go after what you want and go at it without fear okay go at it with knowing that you're growing something that you're reaping something and it's going to be rewarding okay so you had a crossroad right now with <clears throat> excuse me making the choice right here it's what's being said here okay but um well just focus because you're in control of however this turns out, okay? Because like I said again, you have free will. It's going to be left up to you how this thing is done here. You know, with the high priestess being here, you have all the authority, okay? To go forth, go forth with your choice. <clears throat> we have um, the white witch here, okay? This is be your light, okay? Be your light, Okay, you have the wisdom within you to um, manifest whatever this is, uh, whatever possessions that you're wanting to um, bring into fruition here. Okay, that you have the, the, the willpower and the courage, you know, to create these finances, you know, to create treasures and assets um, for yourself and for your loved ones. Okay, we have the um, Shaolin Master here. Okay. And it says, be grateful in movement and action. So, yes, with this action, um, the energy I'm getting here, wow, it has a praying mantis on here and, um, and a dragon, okay? Wow. And it has like, um, like you're going after what you want, okay? You're definitely going after what you want. And um, Spirit is saying, yeah, go for it, okay? But be grateful and graceful in movement and action okay you have to be that light and harness your mystic power here okay track down your fears and also track down your desires okay and then enjoy the growth and reap the rewards that it brings you okay but also wait for an important message okay we have the wise one here okay the bottom of the deck it says grow within your current situation okay we're gonna move on a little further 
to this deck here. This is called the past life deck. Okay, but you're a wise one, okay? And so spirit is trusting that you will make the uh, right choice in whatever this matter is, okay? But it's concerning your family um, and, and how you, um, how important family is to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Wow. Yeah, expanding your prosperity somehow here, okay? Hmm. Bringing forth changes on how you can maintain maintain your family dynamic and and call in wealth and um and prosperity and abundance okay it's not just to yourself but to your family too wow because i'm seeing like family trees here you know with the ancestors being here i'm um, guiding you you know um yeah move beyond ancestral patterns here okay but be graceful in movement and action so you will be taking action on this, but you know, you got to harness the mystic power here. You have to be that light, that light of wisdom here, okay? And that's where that growth will come and shine its way through. You know, a blade of grass can grow through uh, concrete. You've seen those sidewalks, okay? That's proof right there. I'm getting nothing can hold you back but yourself, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, what message do we have for the collective, please? And thank you. Divine Spirit, what message do we have for the collective? Please and thank you. We have a uh, Celtic cross here. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. We have wisdom here. And um, this is a unicorn. This is good luck. Okay. Your faith. It's going to bring you some good luck here. <clears throat> what else do we have here, Spirit? Please and thank you. I mean, you very seldom see unicorns. You hear about them, but, you know, how many times have you seen one? We know they exist, but, you know, they're magical, right? Okay. I'm getting mystical, magical powers. Wow. We have angels here, okay? So, whatever this thing is that you're wishing for... Um, well, the angels are here to guide you along with the ancestors. Yeah. To this wealth, prosperity, and abundance that you seek. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. We have spouse. So this could be for your loved one. Uh, divine Femme, Divine Masculine. This is something that you want to make sure they have um, and the rest of the family here. Okay? You really want to look after them and make sure they're taking care of them. You're creating some wealth, some generational wealth for your family here. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. Click it how it resonates. Switch the roles if necessary. This is energy, masculine or feminine. This is a general message. When you receive this message is when you're supposed to hear it, okay? It's timeless. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. What else do we have here, Spirit? Please and thank you. But definitely the ancestors are with you um, behind here. They want you to be that hunter, to go after what you want. You know, the elders are here. You know, the mystical, magical powers are here, okay? The Shaolin Master is here. You know, you'll be able to fight whatever this is. You know, you'll be able to fight through it, and you will succeed and be successful here. Okay, it's all about making the right choice, the right decision on which way to go. But we have free will with that, so the Spirit is leaving that up to you. But you have the mystical power here with the High Priestess here, okay? What else is here? Please and thank you. Divine Spirit. We also have the Emperor here, okay? Well, could be a father figure. Well, could be something that you want to do, um... To gain, this is basically to gain some type of stability. That's where your focus is. You want to protect. You want to protect something here. Wow. And you want to be um, respected. And this is something that that you want to build upon. Okay. Wow. I'm getting a father figure here. Could be a mother. I'm getting a mother figure here too with the high priestess. So, yeah. This is something that that you possibly want to. Leave, leave for your family, I know. You want to create some genera generational wealth here. Okay, but you have a choice to make. Hmm. 
with the moon card being here. Okay. The moon card. It says take note of the intu intuitive messages. Okay. And um, it says wait for um, important information here. So, but you have to take note. So I guess, you know, um, health here um, might be an issue for some of you not saying that it is. But maybe spirit is saying, you know, take care of yourself while you're on this journey here. Okay, because there's a lot of things that, you know, the divine spirit and your ancestors are wanting you to do here. Okay. Regarding your spouse or your family or your loved ones. Okay. And it's magical. And the angels are here to support you. Okay, as well. Yes, I'm getting a mother figure here um, with with children. Okay. Oh, wow. She's reading a book to her children, like giving her children the, the knowledge too as well. This could be um, masculine energy as well. I'm getting both energies here, uh, masculine and feminine energy here. Um, yeah, that you're passing this wisdom down um, to your children and to, you know, gener generations, this, this information, because these are... This is from the past. This was passed down to you. Okay. And what the ancestors are asking you to do is to make a wise choice. Because whatever choice you make is going to be magical. The angels are here to guide you. And 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 this is the spouse and health is here. Okay. So um, maybe your ancestors are saying, you know, make sure that your spouse is healthy and that you are in good health as well. Drop the card. Hang on. That you are in good health as well. Okay? Because you um, want to make sure nobody um, goes hungry here in this situation. Okay? You want to make sure that you basically give them the bread of life, which is uh, also not just uh, the uh, physical food that we eat, but the spiritual food that we eat as well with the uh, Celtic cross being here as well too. Okay? With the unicorn and the angels. Okay? And the health. Okay? And, and health is like right on top of choice. So maybe say make a healthy choice here. Okay. Wow. Hmm. But definitely this is passed down information. Or passed down wealth. And um, your ancestors want you to continue this, uh, this prosperity and abundance within your family dynamics. Okay. But who, who's that the message this is? Masculine and feminine energy. This is definitely your message from your ancestors, okay? Wow. Yeah. We have ships here, okay? Yeah. They're saying it's going to be smooth sailing for you. Uh, once you make the choice, is what I'm getting here. Thank you, sweetie. Is what I'm getting here. It's going to be smooth sailing, okay? Your family won't ever go hungry. They won't ever go hungry for food. They won't ever go, they won't ever need any need for anything. Okay, all their their needs to be taken care of. Okay. Wow. Maybe this is something that you've been praying for, about making this decision. So the ancestors have come to talk to you about it. Thank you, sweet. It's saying trust your insight. You've been divinely guided in this. Okay. Don't worry about any, any competition or any rivalry or any conflict or any disagreement, strife, tension. You know, somebody trying to be territorial, you know, or uh, any clashing egos or anybody being petty at this time. Don't worry about any of that. Just take note of the intuitive messages because apparently you've been having dreams or thoughts, you know, or something, signs, synchronicities or something uh, spirit has been showing you. So it's, it's saying you wait, wait for an important information from the divine spirit, okay? Because this is a choice that you will be making, but it is one that, you know, it's going to affect your, 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 your generations of, uh, not just your generation now, but it's going to affect generations of your family from this day forward. Thank you, Spirit. What else is here, Spirit? Okay, leaving or traveling. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Moving forward. Moving things forward. Setting things in place. Because here it's like, yeah. You're on the right road here, okay? There's some luggage here, but there's a, a, a straightforward road ahead. So, yeah, with the ships here and the sailing moving forward, okay, with ease and trust in yourself to make this desired move to create this generational wealth um, for your family, your loved ones, okay? 
um, yeah, you're on the right track. That's what I'm getting here. You're on the right track. That's what Spirit is saying. What else is here? Spirit, please and thank you. It's all going to seem magical. Okay? Yeah, it's all going to seem magical, but you have to, uh, Spirit is saying, enjoy the growth and reap the rewards. Wow. We have the transportation card here, right? Wherever you're trying to go, transportation is there. Wherever you're trying to go, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Yeah, your transportation is here. Okay? Wow. Yeah. You're going towards something. But you're going toward the right path is what I'm getting here. To create this general wealth for your family. Your loved ones. Okay? Because you don't want them to be hungry or to want for anything is what I'm getting here. And this is also something that I'm getting the Empress with the mother, mother card being here. Um, this is something that you, um, like you're carrying the torch for something. Like it's all up to you, but this was taught to you from your parents and it was taught to your parents from their parents. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. To always make sure you have enough for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, and to, um, to give to others, you know, in need is what I'm getting here. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. But you have to go after it. You have to go after it, okay? That's what Spirit is saying, okay? Biblical is here, okay? So what I'm getting with this card, the energy I'm getting with this card, is that you have to believe. When you're trying to build something, you have to believe that you're building it. You have to see yourself building it. You have to envision yourself building it. Okay? And trust. Trust that you're being divinely guided here. What else is here, Spirit? <clears throat> Please and thank you. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. For my divine cosmic gods and goddesses. What messages do you have for them, Spirit? Please and thank you. One more to your present. Thank you. Okay. Lessons and blessings. There's a clock here. And there's also a choice to be made. Okay. Wow. This is all uh, in divine timing is what I'm getting here. Divine timing. Letting you know that you're on the right path but you must wait for important information before you completely make this choice. Because Spirit is wanting you to make sure, the ancestors are wanting you to make sure that this is the right choice. Okay, because this choice is being passed down from generations. And now you've been appointed, collective, divine film, divine masculine, to take on this task here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, but if the right choice is made, you follow your intuition. You've been divinely guided, okay? You follow your intuition. The angels are with you. You can't go wrong. So this is in divine timing here, okay? I'm getting, this has already been written and your destiny for you to accomplish. And it's just for you to do, okay? If this is you, you know who I'm talking to. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Anything else my collector needs to be aware of? Your ancestors were very wise. Okay. Wow. Yeah, spirituality and religion. That's why I say, um, be grateful in movement and action. Make sure you're moving in your spirituality, you know, or your religion. Take it how it resonates. Um, whatever you want to call it, it's all divine spirit. And everything is going to take place in divine time. I just want to jump out of my hand. 
but a uh, monk and nun. So this is maybe something that you've been meditating for, something that you've been praying for. Um, this is your decision that you have to make here, that you want to make the right decision. But Spirit is saying that it's going to be magical, and you're being divinely guided. The angels are with you. The ancestors are encouraging you um, with their words of wisdom here. Okay? Um, you have protection guarding around you, so you can drop your shield when you do make this choice. Okay? Um, take note of all intuitive messages that are being sent to you spiritually. Okay? And enjoy the growth and reap the rewards, okay? First things first, though, you have to track down your fears. See what's holding you back to keep you from making this choice. Um, <clears throat> and possibly doubting yourself about making the wrong choice here, okay? But And then track down your desires, you know, while you're doing that. And move beyond ancest ancestral patterns, okay? Because your ancestors, from each generation to generation, all of your ancestors still live within you. Okay, and so they want you to move beyond the way that they used to move because this is a different uh, moment, okay, a different here and now um, in this realm than what they experienced. But they want you to be like the hunter, okay, think like the elder, okay, but wait for the important message here. What is here? If you're the wise one, that's where you were chosen. I'm getting your chosen one, okay, you are a chosen one. Wow. Yeah, you're a chosen one and appointed by your ancestors and your family to be that one to guide them to uh, generational wealth, good health, um, spirituality, religion. Um, you've been guided to move move forward with this, and it's going to be smooth sailing. You're being reassured here. Okay, and it's like uh, you were taught this. Like I said, your mother was taught this. Your father was taught this. Their parents were taught this, and their parents before that were taught this, and on back as far as you can go. And now it's come down to you, the chosen one, to follow this through. Wow. Anything else here? Okay. Yeah. This is about your family tree. You're the chosen one to make sure that this happens, okay? Like I said, this is something that you've been praying for. Um, that you make the right decision here, okay? Yeah. It's been written. It's well documented. In in, 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 the, in the realm of the ancestors and in, in, the, in the spirit guides. That this is your destiny. That you're the chosen one. And this is what you've been appointed to do on this journey. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, spirit. Wow. I'm going to pull up a few more tarot to see if this can help you out anymore. Do you have any more messages, Spirit? <clears throat> Please and thank you for my collective who's been a chosen one, who's been divinely guided um, to lead their family into generational wealth. Um, I'm going to continue their generational wealth. Um, but now they're feeling like they're at a crossroads to make a choice. But the ancestors have showed up. Wow, the elders, okay? Telling them to be like the hunter. Wow. That you can drop your shield. Wow, okay. Yeah. We have the chariot here. This is something you can move forward on, okay? And we have the lover's card here, okay? The energy I'm getting from this card is, uh, wow. A deep love. Mm -hmm. We have here again a choice. And that's what this is all about. You making that choice. Okay. And believing and trusting. That these things will happen. If you have to take note of your intuitive messages. That you're receiving. Because you're a chosen one. Okay. Wow. And love and harmony. And relationships. Partnerships. Unions. Okay. Your values. Your values. It's very important here. Okay. And we have that here. Your possessions. Your values. Your assets. Your belongings. Your treasures. That has been passed down. Many, many generations in your family. Okay. Wow. With the um, chariot here. Um, you've been encouraged to make movement and progress. And take action on this. Okay. With willpower. Okay. Control and direction. Okay. 
with courage and victory on this journey. Wow. That's what Spirit is saying. Okay? Wow. We have some more energy here. Some Cancer here. Um, um, some Gemini here. Wow. It could be any other sign. But um, this is good. This is something you can move forward on. Um, to create some general wealth, uh, generational wealth for your family, for your loved ones. Um, this is what the ancestors are guiding you to do. You have been appointed as a chosen one. Wow. This is my message here today. Something you've been praying about. This has been written in your destiny a long time ago. Okay, for you to take on this action, okay? Wow. I'm just saying trust. Trust in your intuition here. Okay. Your awareness. You know, trust. All the light is here. The angels are guiding you. The ancestors are sending you messages. So please take note of your messages. But there is an important message coming from the ancestors that, that they want you. It's some important information. Okay. Wow. I'm hearing they're cooking it up now for you. They're going to uh, be bringing it to you. I don't know if it's going to be in a dream. Or you may have like a deja vu about something. But the ancestors are here. And you're a chosen one. And this is something that they want you to do. But they can't, they can't like physically make you do it. You have to choose to do it. That's why Spirit said you have free will to make the choice. But your ancestors are here um, reassuring you that they're with you. Okay, that you could drop your shield down if they're with you. But take note of your intuitive messages, okay? Enjoy and enjoy the growth and, and reap the rewards here, okay? And move beyond ancestral patterns, okay? But wait for an important message here, okay? That's very important here, okay? But trust. Trust your insight, you know? Trust that you've been divinely guided here. You've been divinely guided here. You know, trust that. I said this has been written, okay? Wow. For you to move on this with the transport, tra transportation card being here. It's for you to move on, okay? To make sure that, you know, everybody, you know, eats. <laughs> is what Spirit is saying. Wow. And not just eats physically, but mentally and spiritually as well. Okay? Wow. With the, the Empress here, you're a very uh, caring, caring person, okay? And um, your ancestors are depending on you to make the right choice here, okay? You've been illuminated here. You've been chosen. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. You've been chosen. You are the light for your family, okay? You are the, the guardian of this generation, okay? Everything has been left in your hands. Wow. And I think you are aware of this already, okay? Wow. You definitely have insight. Insight is here twice. You definitely have insight. Hmm. I said you may have been meditating about it or thinking about it. This may have came to you, this message, okay? Um... Some type of notice you may have gotten, notification, or something like that, or whether it was written or verbal, or like I said, some type of dreams you've been having lately. Um, wow. Hmm. And you've definitely been thinking about this. It's been heavy on your mind, okay? But you are the chosen one here is what I'm getting here. You are the chosen one. And the uh, Spirit is saying, like, just have faith. Because you're reaching in the right direction. See all that light there? Yeah. You've been enlightened. That you've been, you are the chosen one. You've been chosen by your ancestors, by the divine spirit. To take this choice in divine timing. It's been written eons ago. And you're destined on this journey to do this. Wow. You have the intelligence here. You have all the knowledge you need. Spiritual knowledge. Ancestral knowledge. Angelic knowledge. Divine knowledge. That you need. Okay. For you to see this through. Okay. Number 45 could be significant. Number 48 could be significant. Number 41. 
42. I don't see any more numbers down here. Let's see. But it all starts with compassion. Number 28 could be significant here. Wow. And your ancestors want wants you to accept this and acknowledge this, that you are the chosen one. Wow. And that you have a knowledge. You've been given the knowledge, okay. They just need you to have the faith, okay. Wow. And be aware that it's you, the chosen one. You must trust now, is what Spirit is saying. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Mm hmm. On the bottom of this deck, you know, wise one. Wow. Wise one. The first message is the shield maiden. Make plans now and focus. Focus. Grow within your current situation. Grow within your current situation. Okay? Wait for this important information. But grow in your current situation. And make plans and focus. Okay? Be sharp-minded. Okay? With all the knowledge that you have. You've been given the knowledge. Wow. To go forward with this. It's long been written. Okay? For you to do this chosen one. It's long been written. With the scribes and Pharisees here. Wow. The bad film. The bad masculine. If this is you. This is your journey. And this is your message. Okay? With that. I'm going to close. I want to also add that your ancestors are saying you're a warrior. Okay? You're a warrior and you're a hunter. You have all the tools you need, chosen one, to make this happen. Make the right choice. Make the right decision, not just for yourself, but for your generation and generations to come behind you. Okay. The elders are here. The ancestors are here. The divine spirit is here. Okay. Wow. This is a deep message for somebody. Hmm. Yeah, it's been written that this is your world to travel and that you're on the right path. Okay. And we smooth sailing on this path. But in divine timing, spirit is saying, okay. Wow. It's has something to do with your family tree. Your lineage. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Wow. You were chosen in the days of old. I'm getting here. Wow. This was your destiny. It was written for you to do this collective divine film, divine masculine. And you'll be given all the tools you need. To, to get this thing done. Remember the magical unicorn is here. Okay. That's to bring about good magic. Good things to happen. Great fortune. Great wealth. Prosperity. Great health. Abundance. Okay. In its most rarest. Wow. Form. Okay. With that I'm going to um, close the message. But you're being um, spiritually guided to do this um, by the divine. Okay. And um. Because you've been chosen, okay, as the wise one here, okay, as the hunter, okay, from the elders, okay, the elders of your lineage, you are the chosen one, okay, so wait for an important message, okay, it could be in a dream, um, if you have it and you go back to this uh, recording um, later on after you get this um, message from spirit, um, just type it in the comment box that I received, okay. And if you already received it, because this is past, present, and future energy here, just type, type in the comment box, I receive. Okay? 
And with that, I'm going to close. I'm going to leave you with peace, love, and light. And um, much love. And I'll be back uh, with another message from Spirit. Until then, namaste for now. Asante sana.